How to create a Stripe account step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how you're gonna be able to create a Stripe account in a very easy step-by-step -step tutorial in the easiest, most simplest way possible. We're gonna be talking about it in great depth and great detail. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to get the whole general idea of it. So to start things off, you're gonna come over to your Google and you're just gonna go ahead and write stripe.com in your URL tab. Now, once you come over to stripe.com, it's going to open up an interface like this for you. Okay. And you're going to see quite a lot of things. So on Stripe, you know, financial infrastructure for the internet, millions of companies of all sizes use Stripe online and in person to accept payments, send payouts and automate financial processing and ultimately grow revenue. And you can come down here to see it's a fully integrated suite of financial and payment products. You can accept and optimize payments globally, capture recurring revenue. You have a setup where you can set up multi-party payments and payouts, build a fintech offering with banking as a service and a whole lot more. So it's really great and really easy and simple stuff to get your head behind. And uh, it's a really, you could say relatively easier and relatively pretty fun things to get your head around. Now to before starting off with the account creation, you're going to come to Stripe and we're going to go ahead over to pricings to actually get the idea of how the pricings for this actually works. Okay. And once you come over to the pricings, it's going to bring you over here where it's a standard acts as a complete payment platform with simple pay as you go pricing, no set of fees, monthly fees or hidden fees. Uh, it's 2.9% plus 30 cents per successful card change. Okay, and then there's obviously custom pricings that you can go with. So when it comes to the price ratio, trust me, Stripe is a pretty good option for you. Now to start things off, you're going to come to the account creation. So it says sign into your account. And if you don't have an account, you're going to go to sign up. Now, once you come to sign up, it's going to take you through the whole sign up process where it says create your Stripe account. Now I'm going to obviously go ahead and uh, add my email. Okay. I'm going to add my full name. You're going to choose the country you are from. And obviously if your country is not available, okay, as you can see my country, uh, which is Pakistan, it's not available over there. So what you're going to want to do is just go with a country that you actually have a nationality on. Uh, so let's say, you know, I have a US nationality. So I'm going to go with this and I'm going to add the password and everything. And once all of this is done, uh, do make sure to add a password that is strong enough according to, you know, the people at Stripe. So once you've added the password, uh, you're going to click on create account. And there we go. So once you're into your account, what you're what it's going to do is it's going to ask you a few things regarding your Stripe. It's also going to ask you to verify your email. So we're going to do that real quick. We're going to be right back. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and verify my Stripe email. And uh, once we verified it, what Stripe is going to do is it's going to take us into the dashboard as so. So look at this. We go straight into the dashboard and uh, it also asks us to, you know, activate different payments and stuff but i'm gonna walk you through that in a second so to work with stripe and you know actually make money exactly but to actually receive money or send money uh you're gonna come to this page here it says get started based on your business needs now obviously whatever your business needs are you can input them into the stripe interface and uh, you can obviously get a clear idea of how things at stripe work and then moving on, you know, it asks and tells a lot of other things as well to get started. Uh, take a look at their products and how they work together before you start up Stripe. You can explore that if you want to. I'm going to skip that, okay, because I don't really want to, you know, just get into that. I'm going to come to payments. And once you come to payments here, it says choose how to start collecting payments. So as we scroll down here, you're going to get a few different ways. So first of all is share a link to a checkout page, okay? So let's say you have an online store, right? Uh, it could be on Shopify, it could be on WordPress, GoDaddy, you know, all these great platforms, Wix.com preferably because Wix and Shopify are the most top leading ones that use Stripe. See, then there's a use a pre-built payment form. So a payment form will already be pre-built using, you know, Apple Pay and all, but that obviously requires coding. So we're not going to get into the coding thing. So most common would be manually charge a customer, which is why I clicked on it. And to obviously, you know, create payments and to obviously get payments from people, you're going to go with this. So you can choose if it's a recurring payment or if it's a one time payment. OK, I'm going to go with one time and here's the amount and all. So let's say for the amount, I'm going to go with $90. OK, $90, the amount you're going to, you know, add some optional customer fields. Let's say I'm going to add a test customer. I'm going to call it John. OK, John is my test customer. 
and uh, you know you can add the necessary details for john with emails then there's description product or services associated with payment so let's say products or services associated with payment i'm gonna go with uh, some shoes okay so nike air jordan's elite something like that let's call it that then there's statement descriptor which is basically the business name now your cards customers will see on their card statements and other transactions so let's say i'm gonna call us uh, i'm not gonna add my own name i'm just gonna add let's say it's for a shoe store so shoes hoppers i'm just gonna call it that for example now once you've done this then there's payment methods okay uh, payment methods could obviously be on card and you can save the card to customers and uh, obviously manually people will enter their card information and once they do that they're going to click on submit payment uh, obviously I'm not going to add my card in right now but uh, once you add all of that this is basically the test mode this is how you're going to do that so you can also create new payments for yourself and once you created these payments and created different links uh, you can submit these payments and create another so you get the whole point this is how you're going to you know create your account on stripe and you know actually create different payments and submit these into other portfolios so yeah that's how you're going to use stripe create it and start you know submitting payments so pretty easy and pretty simple to work with this and that is stripe so basically those are all the things when it comes to you know actually talking about stripe and all the products that it has and even you know the whole creation process after that you can do a whole lot of other things when it comes to you know actually messing around with stripe so you know you have the subscription managements payments pre-built payment forms you know the ones that i showed you but if you're actually a code freak and you're pretty good with coding you can also go with the code ones uh, because they have less fraud uh, and you know just much more reliable and you know if you're good at code then why not actually embrace it why not actually use it you know because it's a perk so yeah pretty good so again, once again, I'm going to relive you with the pricings and the pricings again, uh, first of all, they're standard where you can access a complete payments platform with simple pay as you go pricing, no setup fees, monthly fees or hidden fees. Again, 2.9% plus 30 cents off of per successful card change. And then there's custom design a custom package available for businesses with large payments volumes or unique business models. So yeah, basically the custom also has its separate, you could say categories. So IC plus pricing, volume discounts, multi-product discounts, country specific rates, and a whole lot more. So you can get the general idea of it and the general whole gist of it. So, you know, that's how you're going to work with Stripe. And obviously amongst the products, you can also check the different solutions in the use cases. It has use cases in the, you know, different enterprises with different platforms. The best is obviously with e-commerce related to online stores because, you know, online stores has on and off going on payments. So for e-commerce, it's going to work best, you know, because Stripe is all about that. And then there's SAAS, Marketplace and a whole lot more. So, yeah, that was Stripe. And that is how you're going to be using Stripe in the easiest way possible. So that's pretty much about it. Please do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see all you all next time in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see all of you later. Goodbye.